This is Rob Koblenz. Hey, I just uh, created a video um, on how to retrieve your audio bin. Um, we had opened up Pro Presenter, and every one of our songs here to the right were completely gone. And we couldn't figure out how to get them back. So I called Renewed Vision. They told me how to do it. And that's what uh, I showed on my previous video. Well, uh, it didn't work. It didn't fix it. So I, I ended up, uh, after the phone call, I did what he said. I dragged everything back in. I closed down Pro Presenter and opened it back up. And, uh, and I should have done this with him on the phone, but uh, I came back on and, and there, the audio bin was, was gone again. So, <laughs> so I called back. Uh, to renewed vision and talk to somebody else. I couldn't remember who I talked to the first time, but but Matthew was a great help over there at renewed vision, and he helped work this out for me. So I'm going to kind of walk through what he uh, helped me with and the conclusion that we uh, came to. So if you have a, a situation where you lose the audio bin, um, it could more than likely be a corrupt audio file in here. Um, so the suggestion would be to take a look at the most recent audio files that you've added into your library. And the way you do that, I'm going to show you. Uh, if you go to Pro Presenter, go to Preferences, and then you're going to go over to the magnifying glass um, under Media. And uh, no, it would, it would go under Renewed Vision Media under audio and uh, what I did as you can see it says date modified you just click that um, let's do that again uh, go audio okay so to, to see the most current audios that have been added so these we just revised these today all these that say today but there were some on November 15th that were added into our audio bin for a drama that we're gonna do uh, that were corrupted. And so what he did, what um, Matthew did is he actually, we compressed these or we converted them to MP3s. Like we had some that were wave form, format and different formats. Um, so we took all of these and converted them. Now, um, the way you can do that, you can actually do that in iTunes. He did it with compressor. Um, if you were to go to App Store, uh, you could probably find Compressor here. This is what he used. Um, I'll just show you. Yeah, so this is what he used to, to change the, um, the file to convert them. But you can do it through iTunes actually as well. And I was going to show you that. You open up iTunes and you're going to have to change one of your preferences in iTunes to, to do this. But um, if you go to iTunes, you go to preferences and under general tab, if you go down here where it says import settings, you click on import settings and right here you hit this drop down. As you can see, I have it on MP3 encoder. You might have the default as AAC or something else, but I clicked uh, this MP3 full encoder, and uh, the way you do that, let's just say you had a song in here that uh, was in a different format. So you'd click this, um, and you go to File, Create New ver Version, and Create MP3 Version. I'm not going to do it, but uh, that will automatically create that an MP3 version of whatever song that is. Now. Now, so ultimately what we did, uh, going back to Pro Presenter Preferences, is that's what we did for all these songs that say today. Even if that had MP3, they were corrupted some, for some reason. Every time we would add them into our folder over here, close down Pro Presenter, open it up, it would say the same thing. There's a problem with your audio bin, and everything would be gone. So. Um, so we changed those. Um, the other thing that we needed to do is we needed to get rid of the old, um, well, let me just show you. If you go under application data, if you, you know, we're still under preferences, 
Again, I went to Pro Presenter Preferences, and this is where this is what opened up. Now you hit Application Data, this little magnifying glass. This right here, where it says Audio Pro 5PL, right after that, it said Corrupted um, or Damaged, or I think it said Damaged. And so what he did, what Matthew did, is he took this out and put it onto the desktop. And it automatically will create a new audio file. And once you get that uh, audio file or that new one in there, then we added those um, new formatted um, songs back into the library. And that fixed the problem. So um, hopefully this made sense. Now, the, the question I had for him was, how can we save our library? Because we had a bunch of playlists here. Those are all gone. And in theory, it should work that if you saved, um, back this up, just save this right here, you know, um, back it up onto Dropbox or some other method. If you get another corruption, you should be able to take this one out, put the, the one that you had backed up back in here, and hopefully that will save your playlist uh, for your audio. But there's no guarantee. So anyhow, that is what we did to get this back in here and to stay in there. So if you're having a continuous problem where every time you, tr you open up um, your uh, Pro Presenter, your, your audio bin is gone, it's more than likely going to be a corrupted file. And again, you're just going to have to, you know, if everything had worked fine up to a certain point, that's where you want to take what you most recently added and uh, either just completely delete it or, like I showed you, convert it to an MP3. Um, and maybe that'll fix a file or just go back to where you downloaded and re-download it. That should hopefully solve the problem. It solved the problem for me, me right now. Now I need to go make my playlist, so that's going to take some time. Hopefully this helps. Uh, have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.